Logan Logan Stott here this week's Stott Advice. It's actually kind of special. I walked into my office here today and you can see somebody, they gave me this book and you can see this picture of me taking notes. And it's, it's so funny because it never dawned on me that this is an event that John Maxwell and I were speaking at together. And it never dawned on me how, how people, people thought that was such a big deal. You know, I mean, we got inundated on social media and everything about going, wow, look, Logan Stout's taking notes. Okay, and please don't take that arrogantly because, look, <laughs> here's the, the moral of this video. This week's video is this. Yeah, I'm always taking notes. I mean, I don't care who you are. The day you think you have everything figured out, you're wrong, right? I mean, you're destined for failure. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to always be learning and growing. You're, you, you, there's either getting better or you're getting worse. There is no stagnation. There's no stagnation. So that picture, it was interesting to me that people put that picture in a book of me taking notes. And they thought it was just a big deal. It was all over social media. Because people, I guess, just assume, you know, Logan's this author and public speaker and, you know, successful business owner. I guess they think that, you know, I don't know. I don't know what they think. But for me, uh, anytime I'm at an event, even when I'm the keynote speaker, I go in the audience and I take notes. Even if it's the person's first time to ever speak. I take notes because you take the meat and potatoes, you spit out the bones. Right? What that means is this. Every human being, you can learn something from them. I don't care if they're young, old, in between. You can learn from everybody. And so for this, this week's style advice, the teachable moment here is, is be coachable. Understand that you never have it all figured out. Anytime I go speak at huge events, I'm always just baffled how people are chumming it up in the hallways or talking or, or on their cell phones. When they could be sitting there getting fed, they could be learning and growing as a human being. And so you've heard me say it before if you've read my book, The Stages of the Mentorship Process, but I believe that personal development liberates the human being to reach their God-given potential in life. Well, uh, John Maxwell is my mentor. I had such a privilege to be in Pebble Beach uh, with he and his wife, Margaret, and my wife, and having dinner and breaking bread and playing golf, of course, and, and uh, we had a great time. And, you know, it doesn't matter where you are in life or who you are in life. We all are just, we're human beings. And every expert was at one point in time a beginner. And for me personally, though the world views me as some expert, I always view myself as a beginner because I've always have a lot of room for growth. And I want to encourage you to do the same thing, okay? So the action items for this week are very simple. Who do you want to become? Find someone to follow. Every great leader was at one point in time a great follower and continues to be a great follower. Find, find somebody and learn from them. Take great notes. And then the second action item is this. Everything you do, anytime you get a chance, look for the learning moment, the coachable moment, the moment where you can grow. Because I promise you, if you're looking for ways to learn and grow, you'll find them. But if you think you're the expert or you think you got it all figured out, you'll miss great learning opportunities. And so always be looking for great opportunities to learn and grow as a human being. And I promise you, you will grow and you will learn as a human being. So again, I had to share that picture with you. Uh, thank you for whoever put that book together and sent it to our office. I thought it was pretty cool. But uh, I hope you guys have a great week uh, this week. And I can't wait to see you next week on Stat Advice.